Hey guys, I never mind here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the Yuga Clan armor in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So let's get started. Now, the helmet of the Yuga Clan armor can be found on the Great Plateau, which is we are where we are heading to right now. But I do not have any shrines on the Great Plateau yet since I just started. So I will see you guys once we get to the spot. Okay, here we are. Once you start seeing these little frogs with the Sheikah symbol on it, on it, then you know you're near one of these little outpost things where you get a piece of the armor. So as you can see, we have another one of the uh, those three rows of frog statues right here. We also have a traveler, which is obviously uh, somebody in the Yuka clan. So we're not gonna talk him. Talk to him. So when you come over here, of course you're gonna see. They have a bunch of wood spikes. Just pass by the wood spikes. You just want to come up right here. Jump over them if you can. So you have to get a little run jump. Paraglider. Run across. Right over here. And then boom into this entrance. And you're going to see. If you hold out your camera or your telescope. You come in here. It's better with the camera. So if you have a camera, check it out with the camera. You can literally see them in there. Look at them. He looks so... What the? Look at him. You see the Blade Master. You can see the Foot Soldier. You can also see there's the armor. And there is that guy. So once you go in here, you can say, Who's there? Wait, you? You're Link. Thought, thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're going to be the one getting ambushed or something like that. And they're going to spawn out. Then you're just going to have to kill them. So let's kill these guys real quick. This guy's the easiest one easy foot soldier so he's dead now let's get a regular weapon to take out this guy with oh man come on I have my ghost guy helping me where'd he go there he is just gonna f whoa there we go attack attack come on don't have any arrows you want to fly when he does that, just do that, and then you can take him down. And if you get have like a really strong weapon, use a strong weapon like now at this point. So you can take your weapon, attack, hit him one more time. Just hit as much as you can. This guy's really strong. There we go, he's almost dead. Almost dead, and there we go. And then you get his long blade, which is really good. You can also get some... uh rubies from these guys too which really helps so now let's head over here head it inside and as you can see we have this guy and we have a huge map too so if we talk to these guys I'm working as fast as I can please just give me a little more wait you're not one of them so basically he thinks we're one of them you chased off them yes so that means he can escape and so he's gonna give you the outfit because he just wants to give it to you. And then you have their diary right here. So that is how you get the helmet. Now, let's show you guys how to get the chest plate. Okay, we are here. And to get the chest plate, you are going to need to head to the ancient Akala, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. That is where they are going to be at. So you're, of course, you're going to see the little frogs or statues there with the uh, Sheikah symbol there. You're going to see, of course, the fake traveler if you talk to them. They're part of the Yuga clan. More frogs, more frogs. And there's the lab. That lab that was first in Breath of the Wild, that was actually used for ancient armor, is now part of the Yuga clan base. It's horrible. Why would they do this? More statues everywhere. Ugh. Oh. They ruined this amazing place. Of 
course, again, if you get your camera out, you can see them like last time. So let's try to do that real quick. Let's see. You can see them a little bit. Not that much. Like, look, there's the Blade Master. Then there is the Foot Soldier. So if you try to open the door, they'll be like, oh my goodness, who is this? Wait, it's you, it's Link. Get ready for battle. And then they start attacking you. So. Here they are. Hit him. Kill, make sure you kill that guy. Well, make sure you do not get hit by this guy. He does a lot of damage. Oof, that was almost not good. So let's heal up real quick. Heal up. Use all our Hyrule her herbs. Make sure you bring arrows. It would be much easier with arrows, but I do not have arrows at this time. So that sucks. There we go. There we go. He's dead, so we can grab all this stuff from him. There you go. You get a lot of ru you get some rubies for these guys, so it's pretty good. It's pretty nice to kill them. So just kill them. Head inside the building. You're gonna see another one of these clother guys. I'm sorry. I'll make the uniforms without any more complaints. I swear. And then he says, "Hold up. You're not like them." So then, basically, you tell him you're here to rescue him, and then he gives you the chest plate. Here we go. Now you have the armor, the chest plate. So now all you need is to get the leggings, which we're going to show you how to get right now. Now, for the leggings of the Yuku clan armor, you're going to want to head close to the castle, as you can see, and pretty close to the forest, too. The Great Hyrule Forest. So you're going to head up the little mountain across this road and as you can see we have a uh, Rito area all behind us that huge storm yeah Hudson Bay stuff right there you want to come over here just a little more this way you might want to come on a horse this be way faster and as you can see look over here we have some more statues with the Sheikah thing so if we just head over there we should find um, more guys to attack and the last piece of armor. This one is more unique, so make sure you guys watch. And of course, there is going to be a fight like there is in every single piece. Of course, there's another fake traveler, which they had to add. Another fake one. Here we go. We're going to head up right here. And as you can see, we're in a cave this time. It's not like a normal base. So we head in the cave. Let's see, you see have these little statues. There we go. Let's head in the cave right now. So get prepared to fight, guys, at this point. Let's get your everything ready. Discovery. Yuga Clan Mariana Branch. So we have more guys. Look at those guys. Subtle movements, a little creepy. So now we're gonna stay on your guard. Who's there? You're Link! Come to free our tailor, have you? You'll have to get through us first. I'm pretty sure it's just them two, so just take him out like you did last time and it should be easy. Whoa! Good thing we had our shield out. Make sure you always have a shield in this fight. Or high damage dealing weapons. That's where you can kill this guy easier. Oh no. There we go. Mercy. Oh no! There we go. So just use your uh, <clears throat> Hyrule herbs and everything else you have just to heal yourself so you don't die instantly. There we go. Let him hit the shield. Hit, 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 hit. Let's equip another shield because we just broke our other shield. Let's move. There we go. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. There we go. And he is dead. And at this point, you see many different doorways going off to different areas. See that area. You also have this ore, which if you want to get, you can get a ruby. Sell for a decent amount. Amber, which is pretty good. Another doorway. Now you guys might be thinking, okay, I need to head in one of these secret little areas. But actually, the thing you need to do is get your ascent ability on. 
and head up right here in this little brick area. Head up. Right over here. Go through everything. And boom. There you are. And then TTT will really he come? Finally, I've been waiting. If a pretty lady is in distress, a hero will arrive to save her. Everyone says so. So this is entirely expected. But that's strange. The hero it was supposed to carry a legendary sword. And that weapon on your back, it doesn't look legendary at all. Not even with when I squint. I guess the hero is just a fairy tale. Me, I mean, okay. Come on. We don't want to hear you jabber on. There we go. And now we have Yuga tights. Be careful, folks will think you're part of the Yuga clan if you wear the complete set. But the tights are nice. Oh. So, now this is what you. So now let's equip all the armor and check this out, guys. Look at this. This looks so cool. You also have stealth up, so remember, it's like a uh, stealth armor. So it's really nice. I think the Yuga Clan won't actually attack you. So that's it, guys. This is how you get the Yuga Clan armor in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And also, we figured out this literally does nothing in villages. Well, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Leave a like. Click notifications so you can just know whenever I post a new video. And we'll see you guys next time.